my name's Mimi A. My blog is mimali.com, where I write about Burmese food and other Asian food. Um, I've got a book about noodles coming out in May, um, and I'm making you a noodle dish today, which is called Ono Kalswer, which is Burmese coconut chicken noodles. This dish is actually really quite easy, very straightforward. Um, all the ingredients you can get from your local supermarket. There's nothing unusual. Um, start off with a stock pot or a large saucepan, whichever you have to hand. Um, I've got two tablespoons of oil in there and we've got two large shallots, banana shallots in here. We can use two normal onions and they've been chopped or diced quite finely. Um, and I'm just gonna put them on here. It's on a kind of a medium low heat. And what we want to do is let them cook quite gently, kind of sweating them for a bit. Um, and that will take about eight to ten minutes. Um, so I'm just going to stir them around a bit to make sure that they're all coated with the oil. So the onions are almost ready now. Um, in the meantime, um, I've got some eggs on boil. I'm going to be boiling some wheat noodles as well. Um, those will be used to serve the dish up. Right now, um, I've just peeled some garlic. Um, I'm going to peel some ginger as well. Now, very easy way of peeling ginger. Um, if you use a, a knife, you're going to get rid of most of it. But if you just use a spoon and scrape, it gets rid of all the skin really easily. Okay, so that's clean now, more or less. And now, and this is just about ready for this stage. So what you want to do is, um, if you've got a mini chopper, you get your mini chopper, you put in the, it's about a one centimeter, two centimeter knob, is what I call it, of ginger. Um, four fat garlic cloves um, and two whole spring onions. You want the green part and the white part. Just snap that in half so it doesn't get too tangled. Squish it down tight. And then you take about a spoon, a small spoonful, I suppose, of um, the fried onions. So it's about half it, I suppose. And you, you throw that in there as well. Um, and then... Blitz it. Okay, so that's fine. That's like, it's not completely minced, but about that much is fine. Now you need um, two tablespoons of ground flour. This is uh, the same as it's chickpea flour, basically. Um, and the, so we get two tablespoons of this, and you add it to 100 ml of cold water just from the tap. Um, um, you just mix it up. It, it doesn't matter if it doesn't completely whisk up or if there's a few lumps. You just want to try and get it so it's blended with the water as well as possible. Um, you add this to the pan of onions that you were cooking down earlier. Um, and you also add to this uh, a tablespoon of marigold bouillon. Um, you can use any instant stock you like or any vegetable stock. I happen to like this one because it's quite low in salt, um, and so um, you don't have to worry about the whole dish being too salty. Um, so there's just a tablespoon of that. I'm now going to add some fish sauce, um, just two tablespoons. Now you can get fish sauce anywhere these days, so, and brands don't particularly matter either, so long as it's not too salty. Um, and then you give that another quick mix. And now you add 500 mils of cold water. And that's still on a, a nice medium low heat and then you just let that simmer away. These are just normal rice noodles. Um, it doesn't matter whether you have the flat ones or the round ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the garnish, which is also made of noodles, um, but it's crispy noodles. So what I've done is I've snapped them in half I've um, got the, the oil on hot, basically we're going to deep fry uncooked dried noodles. So if basically, you put it in, and I don't know if you can see that, but in seconds, you've basically got deep fried noodles. They've, they've puffed up like um, corn crackers, and that's the topping. So we're done. I've got my onions. Putting it, my onion mix and putting it in the frying pan. Okay, and I'm going to stir that and fry it for a little. Um, 
This is some of the oil that I used earlier to fry the noodles. About two tablespoons worth. Um, now, um, you don't want it to be brown, you just want it to be fragrant. And then you add, um, I've got four chicken thighs that have been um, sliced thinly. We don't, no skin, no bone, it's just meat. Um, thighs are brilliant, they are a dark meat. They're a lot cheaper than breast and also a lot juicier. Um, most Asian chefs don't use breast meat because it, it, not just because it's expensive, but because we feel that it doesn't have the right kind of chew or texture. Right, so now the chicken's completely cooked through. Um, just going to add a tablespoon of paprika. This is just for colour because this dish is, you know, part, partly to do with the autumn thing. It's meant to feel kind of warming. Um, so that's all stirred through. And now we um, combine the chicken with the broth that you've been simmering all this time. Make sure you get everything in. Now, give that a good mix through to combine, make sure everything's mixed together. And now you add 200 mils of coconut milk. Uh, again, adding to the kind of warming, comforting sweetness of the dish. So it feels like your cliched great big hug. So the broth and the chicken have now been simmering only for about 20 minutes. You don't want to simmer any longer than that because it's got coconut milk in it and if you give it a big heavy rolling boil it will separate. Um, you just want gentle, nice soothing, warming kind of cook. Um, now we've got all the garnishes that we prepared earlier. So we've got the, the fried noodles, the sliced shallots, the lime, the egg um, and the noodles that we cooked. Um, nice shallow pasta bowl to plaster plate because it's not a very soupy dish. Um, and then you get your lovely, lovely soup and the bits of chicken. And then you just pour a ladle on top, just enough so that all the noodles are nicely doused, but not drowning in the, uh, the broth. So this is my autumn dish, um, Burmese coconut chicken noodles, oh no, cowswear, um, and it's pretty much a hug in a bowl, so I'm going to get stuck in there.